Right, I hope everyone's doing good. Thought I'd just make this little video. Um, just something I've been thinking about for the last few days. I've been busy. I've been at lots of different fight shows. I was over in Marbella with Rico. Uh, where he fought Austin Trout on the BKFC. And then... I've come back uh, at the weekend. We had loads of fights on. There was PFL, UFC, um, some great fights. Uh, there's been lots of boxing fights on. You had Bivol fighting. And on top of all that, last week is the first time ever I went to watch the WWE. <laughs> so my little lad, he's not that much into wrestling. You know, he know he's watched it a couple of times on TV. He's got some wrestling figures and stuff. But I saw it was in Manchester and I saw Tom Aspinall. Um, he was, you know, doing, he had like a discount code for tickets. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to go. It's just a once in a lifetime thing. Let's go and watch the WWE live. And uh, wow, it, it absolutely blew me away. Now, obviously, um, I know that wrestling is predetermined. We all know the story on pro wrestling and stuff. And, but I've always said, you know, these guys are like stunt actors. They're very good at what they do. They're very athletic. Um, obviously, you get a lot of MMA crossover. You know, people like Brock Lesnar, Ken Shamrock, people like this, Ronda Rousey. Um, so there is a bit of a, you know, a connection between MMA and pro wrestling. But obviously, you know, MMA is real fighting. Um, but wow. So I, I took my wife and my little boy and we went there and I was absolutely blown away by first of all the amount of people like the the arena it was the new arena the co-op uh the co-op live arena in manchester and i was blown away by how packed it was it was absolutely rammed to the rafters every seat was full and uh yeah it was just the the show the production everything was just on point it, you know all the entrances and, and that was one of the biggest things really you know the, the entrances yeah you know coming in interacting with the crowd you know there was you know really interacting with like little kids were dressed up as wrestlers and they were lifting them over taking them into the ring and stuff and i thought wow this is amazing um you know turning all the lights off and then you know doing the entrances and stuff like that i thought it was it was really good i, I was blown away really and it was you know aside from the actual wrestling in terms of production and event it was it was top notch um so yeah it's it's just got it's had me thinking so i'd been at obviously bkfc as well in marbella so again that was an amazing show it was in a bullfighting ring and uh, yeah, so like a real kind of coliseum vibe to it, like a big circular arena with the tiered seats and obviously the BKFC circular ring in the centre. It, it, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. There were some great fights on the card. And I think with uh, BKFC, it's just blowing up. Like the fights, every fight is exciting. Every fight is exciting. It's, it's very rare that you get like a boring bare knuckle boxing fight so it was a really good event definitely the best bare knuckle event i've ever been to and i've been to more than most people um yeah really good i've been at bare knuckle events in fields um but this one was uh the biggest most legit bare knuckle event i've ever seen well organized and yeah just just a great spectacle obviously mcgregor were there so he added his little touch to it um so yeah so again gets back from there and goes to watch wwe so two crazy shows very different obviously bare knuckle uh and pro wrestling but wow and both of them shows just seem to blow out of the water the boxing and mma that have been on regular that have been on recently as well now again boxing mma i love both sports and you know you're talking about legit fights these are you know real fighters but sometimes in boxing with gloves on you can get these fights that you know they don't or they don't really go for it they don't really you know they don't really try and kill each other and i can very i can appreciate 
a technical masterclass uh, because I am a technical fighter. So, um, yeah, it's 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 weird how like bare knuckle now because it's five rounds and you've got these people who they've got something to prove, especially with McGregor there. And uh, yeah, it's just finishes all night long. People want to finish each other. Obviously, Rico lost on a decision against Austin Trout, who'd been in there with Canelo. He'd done 12 rounds of Canelo, legit world champion. So uh, it felt like a, it didn't feel like a loss to us, really, in the corner. He did five rounds against the legit world champ, and it was a great experience. So um, we took a lot from it, but it was an exciting fight. I thought Rico made it an exciting fight by, you know, walking in with his hands down and, you know, in that last round going crazy. I thought it was Rico that made the fight exciting. Uh, but yeah, what I'm trying to say basically is BKFC and pro wrestling for me are like two of the most exciting events that I've been to. And then all these MMA, I'm a, and maybe I'm desensitized to MMA. You know, I go to a lot of MMA shows. And again, you're talking about the best fighters in the world. Um, obviously, you had uh, Francis Ngannou. Uh, fighting on PFL with his with his big knockout and stuff and all this it's great I love it I love MMA I love pro boxing but yeah it was just this the, the bare knuckle show for me one of the best shows I've been to and this WWE I'm like wow so and what this is a mad thing about the WWE so Tom Aspinall was there obviously Tom Aspinall is the UFC uh, interim heavyweight champion he should be the heavyweight champion but obviously John Jones all of this thing with John Jones and stuff hopefully that fight comes off and Tom gets to fight John Jones you know I really hope that that works out but Tom uh, was at the was at the WWE so they announced him and he came into the ring and so that was great to see and he got into the ring with his UFC belt and stuff but the reception that he got compared to the reception that, you know, these pro wrestlers were getting. Cody Rhodes, uh, Randy Orton was there as well. Like, the reception was unreal for these wrestlers. So you're talking about Tom Aspinall, legit fighter, legit heavyweight champion of the world. But, and obviously these are wrestling fans, have come to watch wrestling. Uh, but I thought... You know, I thought they would have been buzzing, more buzzing that, that Tom's there, but they weren't. They were, you know, more buzzing that Randy Orton were there. They were going absolutely bonkers for him. Basically, wrestling stopped for half an hour while Randy Orton like signed autographs and took selfies with everyone. So, yeah, it's um, it really opened my eyes to how popular wrestling is. It's like wow, I definitely go again and watch it. You know, I appreciate that they have got skills. They are athletes. Uh, but it just, what what kind of baffled me is, why do these people not love MMA as well? Like, what is the, and this is the big question really of this video, is why is why is that so popular? And it was entertaining for me. You know, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. But it's like, why do these people not love MMA, the reality of fighting as well? Is it the storylines? Is it the characters? And how could MMA learn from that? Is it, Is there a way that we can you know, learn from pro wrestling and put that into MMA. I don't know. Uh, maybe it don't work that way. Um, but, yeah. And the same with the BKFC. It's like the entertainment value of it was just like way more than watching regular boxing. Uh, I think BKFC is, is growing. It's getting bigger. More people are seeing it now. Uh, lots of like ex-UFC guys, ex-pro boxers are all coming in. Obviously, Austin Trout is there. You know, it's only a matter of time before you're getting more and more champions. I think BKFC is about to... I mean, it's already exploding, but I think it's going to explode even more. I think, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. So, yeah, just thought I'd make this little video today, just talking about my experiences. First time watching the WWE. Um, yeah, for me, in the last month, the WWE and BKFC were like the best two events I've been to re in recent times, and again, I'm at lots of MMA events and stuff. Um, I'd say the only MMA event that really sort of tops it for me is KSW in Poland. So I, uh, I've cornered uh, Scott Askham at KSW multiple times, and wow, the, the shows that they put on, it's kind of that 
combination of that pro wrestling entrance as they, they dropped Scott in. They were like on a big platform and they dropped him down. And he came to the cage once in a McLaren F1. They drove him to the cage in a McLaren F1. It's like, that's like the pro wrestling kind of vibe. You know, big crazy entrances. Um, and then I think the Polish culture in MMA is they try and kill each other a little bit more. So that's going back to like the bare knuckle thing. So for me, the most entertaining, if I had to pick the most entertaining show I've ever been to and watched live, it would be KSW. Um, yeah, so I think we've got a lot to learn from, you know, all these different sports, all interacting with each other. But yeah, I'd just like to know your thoughts. Have you been, have you watched pro wrestling? Why do people buy in so much to pro wrestling, which they know is predetermined, yet they don't, you know, they're not big into the UFC, which is real fights. It's interesting. Uh yeah, is is pro wrestling is it bigger than the UFC? I think it I think it is. Is it in terms of money? I know uh I watched the McMahon documentary. I know that he obviously had the opportunity to buy him and stuff like that. So that's uh I went to watch the show and then I watched the McMahon thing afterwards and learned a lot more about, about the pro wrestling game. So yeah, interesting stuff. Um, I'll be back on here soon dropping some more techniques and drills and all that good stuff for learning but I just thought this was an interesting topic and uh, yeah let me know your thoughts on the pro wrestling bare knuckle and you know the current state of MMA does it need to change do we need rule changes we've got the 12 to 6 rule uh, is now allowed that elbow is now allowed maybe I'll do a little video talking about that next so uh, yeah let me know your thoughts on Pro wrestling, MMA and bare knuckle because it's blowing up.